On this installment of Diecast and Porn, we're going to be taking a look at the Diecast Masters Transport Series International HX 620 Tritum Tractor Trucks. As of right now, you can currently get these in five different color variations, white, red, black, blue, and a light gray color. They come in the standard Transport Series packaging, which we will take a look at first. As you can see, they have a picture of the truck on the side of them, and for the packaging review, we'll take a look at the blue version. Here you have the item number. And these are item numbers 7107 through 71011. Of course, the blue one is item number 71010. Here's the truck on the side, the description down here, the international logo. Up on top, you have transport series. Again, your item number. On the back, you have a description of the truck along with some information on the real truck, such as its engine, description of the hood, frame, and these trucks have the long hood and BBC setback front axle. On the side, you have a finger hole right here, and this is how you would remove the truck from the packaging. So very, very high marks in terms of the packaging on these transport series models. They definitely keep the model robust and safe during shipping, and it's certainly worth hanging on to after you get the trucks. So as you can see in the background here, I have all five of the color variations available. Here is the light gray color. Here is the blue color, the black, the red, and the white. Now, when you get these trucks, you get the option of having two different exhaust stacks options. You have these straight up and down exhausts, which I have on the light gray one. Or if you don't prefer those, you can always opt for the curve exhaust, and those have a curve at the top right here. And those look very, very nice. That's really the only assembly you have to do is to put whichever exhaust taps you like on them as well as to fit the optional oversized loads sign up on top of the headache rack should you want to do that. So for sake of the review, let's go ahead and take a look at the white truck as the features and details are the same on all of these trucks whichever color combination you opt to go for. So I mentioned that they have the oversized load sign. That is a plastic component, and it just fits in the top of the headache rack on two predetermined holes. And also the exhaust stack tips, which you can put in. These trucks also feature working steering, which work rather well in either the left or the right direction, and it will hold a turn. Also, you can open the hood on these trucks. There you go. And you can see the detailed Cummins ISX15 engine inside. They don't feature any opening doors, though. Here you have all your different tanks alongside, highlighted by blue tips on top of the tanks. You have chrome fender guard protection on the rear three axles. Your mud flaps are rubber and look really good and have the international logo as well as some painted lights back here. Here's a really good shot of the lights up on top of your rear headache rack, your amber, your large amber working light. On the side, you have the International HX logo right here, a trio of running lights on the side, and again, here is a look at the truck facing you with a nice chrome grille, the International badge up on top of it. Underneath these trucks, there is a fair amount of detail. The tires have a good tread pattern on them. You can, again, you can see the tanks, the engine, a drive shaft, a bunch of different components which have been modeled very, very well. So the big advantage with having a heavy haul truck like this is if you have the Diecast Masters trailers, which you can, at the time of this video, purchase either with the Cat trucks or with the International 520 trucks, you can move the fifth wheel right here. You can slide it all the way forward or slide it all the way back to accommodate the trailers. But you can hook up the Diecast Masters XL120 low boy to it and it fits that fifth wheel just fine and if you have any cat equipment laying around in this case I have a CB13 
roller. It makes a very convincing and excellent transport load. So there you go, collectors. That is a brief overview of the Diecast Masters International HX620 Tritum Tractor Trucks in 1 to 50 scale. I would say these are excellent heavy haul trucks. They currently retail for about $60 to $65, so they are not too expensive. I think they're good value for the money. They're very, very well detailed, and with the variety of color combinations that you can get, they will definitely fit almost any collection. As always, if you guys have any questions, please leave them down below. I'm Tommy from Diecast Emporium. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.